On Friday, the U.S. Court of Appeals in Washington issued a fascinating two-to-one decision. They said the Food and Drug Administration overstepped its authority in ordering tobacco companies to put new graphic warning labels on cigarettes. Obama's FDA was going to force tobacco companies to relabel their product by next month with images designed to gross out the customer, as other countries have done. One of the uh, required images is a guy smoking through a hole in his throat. Another shows a corpse with chest staples lying on an autopsy table. Big Tobacco sued the FDA, arguing that being forced to use those images violated their constitutional right to free speech. Judge Janice Rogers Brown, writing for the majority, said the images were designed to evoke emotion in order to browbeat consumers into quitting smoking. While the government can require consumers to be fully informed about hazardous products, Judge Brown said the case raised issues about how far the government can go to make companies undermine their own economic interest. Judge Brown also pointedly discussed the foreign laws that force graphic labels. She noted other countries, quote, do not necessarily protect individual liberties as stringently as does the U.S. Constitution. Now, folks, this might not be over because the regime might appeal this and the Supreme Court might take it. But for the time being, heavy-handed nanny state liberals have been slapped with a smoking defeat. And that, my friends, is something to puff about.